Lilac Rose here with another unboxing video. I just got a package from eBay. Yes, and if you guys can see him, I got Natsu Dragnir from Fairy Tale. <laughs> I also got Gray, and I got Lucy too. If you can see Lucy, um, where is she? She's right there. I don't have Lucy down here because she's a bootleg figure. And my Gray and Natsu are a real figure. I bought Gray from Amazon and I was lucky to get a real one. And I bought Natsu from eBay and I was lucky to get a real one. I got Lucy from eBay and she was fake. How I know these ones are real, I talked to the customers. I did my research on bootlegs before I even started collecting figures. And it just made me mad that my Lucy was a fake one. As you can see, Natsu comes in his box and he has his Kodansha sticker right here. He comes in a purplish pinkish box and it has him in the front and it says Natsu Dragon. And Good Smile Company is the company who makes him. We go to the side, we have a window of the fairy tale logo. We have him with his shirt off, which is pretty hot, <laughs> his scarf, and a pose. And we have more of him in the back and some more Japanese writing and his fairy tale logo. And yeah, here again on the side. And on the bottom, we have Natsu Dragnir and Good Smile. Good Smile Company. They're the ones who make the fairy tale figures. And I was so lucky to get this because I've been looking everywhere, everywhere for Natsu for about a couple of years, two or three years. And he was so high. He is a Pomoya and he's $200. On Amiyami, he sold out. He sold out everywhere. It's hard to find him. So I was lucky to find him on eBay from a seller who was selling a legit one. As you can tell, this is a real one. And he has his sticker and the box is not faded. And I was just so happy and I contacted him. And the seller actually, him he was holding him for me I guess he wanted to get rid of Natsu he's been having him for a while so I paid 225 for Natsu Dragnir and he's originally his price is like $400 on other websites and everybody else who's selling him and so I was lucky to find him at 225 and once I saw that and I wasn't even planning on buying any more figures for until I got paid again because I just did a Dragon Ball Z one and I was like Steal, grab. I'm taking that home. I need him. And now I need just Lucy again because I don't want to bootleg Lucy. So yeah, let's unbox him. And he was nice enough to put a new sticker on Natsu's box. So let's take it off. Oh, he's got action. Okay, never mind. So let's open him up. And he comes with all his pieces. Or at least he's supposed to. So let's take him out of the box. And on the bottom, he has his. Oh, I just dropped his instruction. On the inside, he has some designs in the box. It looks like a brick wall or a screen brick wall. It's pretty cool. Let me check that out. And thank you for my subscribers. Hopefully, I'll be getting more subscribers soon so I can give away some cool stuff. Some cool anime stuff. Let's see. Okay, sorry about that. Alright, chair. And he has his instructions that are in Japanese. And I don't really, really care too much about the instructions. But let's just play around with them. So the tape should already be off on him. And let's open him up. Oh, I'm so happy to get Natsu. He was hard to find, and his little army just came off, but that's okay. So we're taking off his plastic, and he kind of just threw Natsu in here. So here's his head, and here's his arm. That's kind of disappointing, but okay. That's okay. His scarf is a little bit loose. And here's his stand, and his fireball, which is pretty cool. So let's fix Natsu because he is a mess right now. It's kind of sad that he just threw him in here, but it's alright. So here's his body. He's pretty big, like he's big like gray. 
so we're going to attach his arm and it's like building a puzzle piece there we go it fits in there perfect and his other arm is a little bit loose let's put him in some more there we go and let's put on his head awesome his neck is so long from his head it just looks kind of funny His head looks like kind of like a different color, but oh well. I think that's how it is. So we have his scarf. Let's put a scarf on. I have no idea which way the scarf goes, so I'm just going to assume it goes that way. Let's look at the box. It goes down. It goes this way. Okay. So let's put his head on. His head is on. His scarf is on. And here's his plaque. Let's stick his plaque on. And he fits in there perfect. That's how you know he's a legit one. Alright, so let's put the camera down a little bit. As you can see, Natsu is wearing his traditional, you know, outfit. And he has a very muscular tan. Like, he is like orange here in regular face here. And he's very muscular. Let's put him side by side next to Gray. You can see they're about the same as in height. The Natsu is a little bit more muscular than Gray is. Gray is kind of like a pale, and Natsu is really tan. <laughs> yeah. Look at that ass, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. So, as you can see, he has no paint defects, as I can see. He shouldn't have no paint defects because this is a legit figure. This isn't a bootleg one. And I'm very happy that I got him because I've been wanting him for so long. And his hair is not as spiky as Goku's, but it's kind of spiky. And he has, oh, he also has his little flame fist. So let's pop this sucker on and see how it looks. So as you can see, we have Matsu right here. And I think he just looks so much better with his little flaming face. So let's take off his arm. His arm is like a puzzle piece. And Gray's arm is like a magnet. That's what's kind of different about those two. Like, ten times better with the flaming fist. Isn't that better? Just look at the detail of his muscles. You can see, like, his abs and his muscles. Like, he's been working. So let's attach that back onto his arm, if we can. All right. Yeah. I guess I should see. It's more better if I look at it. Oh, he popped off his head. Hey, his head is like real easy. It's like, come on. There you go. There you go. Let's put back on his scarf. This scarf is like pretty big. Like look at the hole. Look at his neck. Like his neck is like ugh, way more looser than his scarf is. But yeah, let's put his head back on. And like I said, Natsu is wearing his traditional outfit. He has his fairy tale logo right there, which is red. And he's wearing his black outfit. And he has his shoes on. And he even has toenails which is nice and he has a red stand with a red fairy tale logo and as you can see it's a little bit stained right there but you know i'm not gonna complain i don't really care i'm not mad as long as i got the figure and he came safe and he's real that's the only thing that matters and he's right next to gray he's gray so i got both of them i just need to get a new lucy and i need to find gray's necklace because it fell somewhere between my bed that's going to be hard to find. Back to Natsu. He's wearing his traditional gray pants, legs, leggings, or like capris. And he has his or orange, his brown belt. And I just love his muscles. And you can also take off his jacket. But I'm not going to take off his jacket because I tried taking off gray's shirt and I ripped his shirt. So I don't want to do that with Natsu. I kind of ripped it. So yeah. 
Yeah, this is my Natsu figure, and I'm loving him. And I finally got Natsu. I got him on eBay, and he was used. He wasn't new. So, yeah. I mean, and he was packaged kind of crappy, but overall, I love him because he, he looks nice, you know? He looks like Natsu. <laughs> and he's a legit one, and his scarf moves, and... He's right next to his Betty Gray, and I need to get a new Lucy, and a Nerza, and everybody else. Yeah, so that's my figure of Natsu. He's pretty big. And let's give him a 360. And you guys can pick him up wherever you buy figures, but I wouldn't pay $400 for him. I'm sorry. I was not going to pay that. That's why I went on eBay, and I looked around and made sure that I got a legit one. And the cheapest one that I found was 225 And he doesn't have one anymore. He only had one. He has a Lucy figure. Um, yeah, he has like two Lucy figures, but they're not the traditional outfit one. They're like season two and season 14. And her as a cat. Um, yeah, so that is my Natsu next to my Gray. Oh, and the stand is different too. Ray's stand is like way more smaller than Natsu's stand. Yeah. They're about the same height too. They're 7 8 skill. And yeah, I'm loving them. And they're really good and amazing. And yeah, that's my figure of Natsu. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And thank you for watching. I'll be having more videos coming. And hopefully, I can get more subscribers and more everybody so thank you guys for watching my video i am lilac rose bye